I spent $12,000 on one graded comic and if you guys want to find out if I regret my decision or not, I'll go into details of how I made the decision to purchase this one comic book and the research I went through and the limited information I had to make this decision. So if you guys want to find out what this is, stay tuned for the video. Welcome guys to another episode of Comics with Bonix. Today we have a special video because I'm about to unbox this one graded comic book that is one of my favorite comic books of all time. I spent a decent amount, everything totaled $12,000. And I wanna go into detail of why I made this purchase at the price I did. Um, when you guys find out what book I purchased in the grade, you guys might be a little bit surprised. Usually I'm a little bit more patient when it comes to these type of big books. But this one, I had limited information. It was in a short time period that I had to make the decision. And so um, it was part of a claim sale. You guys might be familiar with the seller. Uh, the seller is Flip Mode Comics on Instagram. One of the biggest purchases, if not the biggest, I think it's the biggest purchase I've ever made on Instagram and also the biggest purchase I made on a claim sale. Um, pretty close to the biggest purchase I made on Instagram, but this will be a huge unboxing and I'm super excited to get into it. Once I open up the book, I will go into detail of why I made the purchase and if I have any regrets or not. I might have some regrets. I'm, I'm having second thoughts if this was the right decision. Give you a little bit more information and I'll give you guys my thoughts. So let's go ahead and get into the box. So I got the graded book out of the box and Flip Mode Grit did a great job of packing up for safe shipping. And so let's go ahead and show you guys the book I picked up for $12,000. It is Amazing Spider-Man number one, the second overall appearance of Spider-Man Peter Parker. It's also the first appearance of J. Jonah Jameson and the Chameleon. First solo title of Spider-Man and very first issue of this epic run. It is graded a CGC 3.5 with cream to off-white pages. I like the colors which is one of my favorite attributes of a book. Uh, the colors are much uh, nicer than my previous copy. So if you guys weren't aware I had a copy of this book in a 2.5. I'll show uh, image of the copy that I used to have. I was in contact with a buyer that was interested in my 2.5. We've been in contact for quite a while now and I agreed that if I came across a new copy that uh, would be an upgrade to my 2.5 that I would go ahead and sell my 2.5 to the uh, buyer. So this came across my social media Instagram from Flip Mode, they came across a big collection and this was one of their biggest books. So let's go ahead and go over this copy itself. Um, so as I said, it does have really nice colors and here's the front cover. And then let me show you quickly the back. So overall, pretty nice. Um, presentation is okay. There is a little bit of staining Looks like some water damage towards the top right there, but no huge chunks missing. Uh, the major uh, things I was looking for on this book was uh, no missing pieces, uh, very minimal Marvel chipping, which this qualifies 
for minimal marble chipping. The edge right here, very, very little marble chipping. I don't really see any major, uh, there's a little bit of tearing right here. So there is very, very little, but you can hardly really tell. With this book, even though if there is marble chipping, chipping you can't really tell too much. But uh, colors are good, minimal marble chipping. However, this was one thing I didn't know going in when purchasing and eyeing this book. If you guys have been on Instagram, the claim sales, the video, when you look at a claim sale, it's not amazing. You can't really see uh, some of the flaws of a book. Not sure if you guys have noticed it yet. Uh, I didn't notice until getting this in hand is there is a name written right on Spider-Man's right on his foot right here. It's written Harold. It's kind of like handwriting. But what's interesting is that it really matches what the art on this cover is. So it's kind of like it matches with some of the the art here. So you can't really tell that it's a name written there, but there is. It's pretty big too. It also goes over the face of Reed Richards, which that a little bit bo that bothers me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um I didn't know going in that there was a name written there and it wasn't, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't disclosed during the claim sale. It was going so fast. If they did disclose it prior or during, it wasn't disclosed. So pretty bummed about having a name written there without me knowing, but um, it was, I'm, I'm going to take the blame for this for not asking more questions during the claim sale. I did ask uh, I'm going to disclose that I did ask for pictures of the book prior, but I didn't get any responses. And when you're looking at the claim sale, during the claim sale, it's really hard to see uh, everything there is to know about the book. The next thing that I want to um, also mention is there is rust on this staple. And I did look up the greater notes. I couldn't even read the certification number during the claim sale or in the pictures prior but the graders notes say that there is rust on this book and there um, in the notes there is um, writing on the front cover so if I knew that to be honest I probably wouldn't have purchased this but it is my fault for not asking for graders notes during the claim sale that could have been looked up I think that was my one regret is not asking for graders notes um, but overall, I feel like those, those are minor things to me. Um, I feel like this still presents really well. 3.5 is a lower grade, so it still presents really well. Very, very clean copy still, even though there's writing in rust. Overall, it's a very good copy and a little bit more than I, what I want to purchase in this book. But for the amount that I upgraded from a 2.5 to 3.5 it was very very minimal so overall um i would say i'm okay with this purchase i'm not super happy with it but i want to be honest with you guys of all the things that i came across i hope this helps anyone that is looking to make purchases via claim sales um, try to ask as many questions as possible try to learn from my mistake, my mistake was not asking for the graders notes and any flaws that I should know about disclosed prior to me submitting the claim. Um, during the claim sale, um, I put in a best offer of 11,000. The actual listing price was 12,995. I put in an offer of 11,000. Um, I was the only one that put in the offer at the time uh, on the claim sale and they countered with uh, 12,000. There was someone that also offered after me uh, 11.5, but after they countered with 12, um, I kind of made a, a split second decision that I would go ahead and take it for 12, even though I wanted to keep it at 11.5 was kind of my highest in my head, but um, I was, I was already making, making the decision in my head that 12 would be an okay buy. So overall, I'm okay with the purchase. Um, not thrilled with it, but I'm still happy to have upgraded a major key that looks uh, pretty awesome overall. So I hope uh, this video helps you guys to get an understanding. If you guys have more questions, 
you can uh, put it down in the comments. Also put down in the comments what you guys think of this purchase. If you guys, um, if you guys would be upgrading from a 2.5 to a 3.5 for, you know, a, a small amount, would you guys also make that purchase as well? So that's all I had for you guys today. I know it was a quick video, so I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing of my Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and comment down below what you guys think of this purchase and this book overall. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to check out future videos. And with that, guys, I want to thank you for joining me here on Comics with Monix. And as always, I want to remind you to collect your passion. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.